you guys, it's Kim again. I just wanted to take a moment. I'm still working, but I have to tell you, and I feel like this subject is near and dear to my heart, and I feel like I should be an advocate for it at this point, but I ended up taking an order today for Uber Eats, and I know as a driver, I did everything correctly. I was even in contact with the customer. I know the customer got the order because when I dropped it off, I saw the customer actually take the bag from the door that I dropped it off at. And lo and behold, I got tip baited again. I'm like, really? And you know, it doesn't happen that often but man when it does it royally stinks from a driver's perspective and I am frustrated I am annoyed like it just it baffles my brain I'll say I'm not happy about it but I almost understand it if a customer reduces a tip based off of poor service that they received from a driver's standpoint I don't think it's right, but I somewhat understand it. But for a customer, in my case, to take an entire tip away from my order, to me, is just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and in my opinion, this customer wanted their stuff quickly. They wanted it in their house. They wanted to get whatever it is they wanted to get and they wanted it in their possession and they were going to up the tip in order to get whatever they needed to get and then take it away from the driver. And man, as a driver, you put in the time, you put in the effort, you put in the work and you expect to be paid accordingly and when a customer takes that away, you're like, man, I just did all that work for, in my case, a base pay of $4 when it was supposed to be $12. And how is a customer, and I, I know the people do this, so they, uh, I'm just, how can you sleep at night? How can you have a conscience knowing that you actually took money away from somebody's earnings? And I think that's what bothers me the most. And Uber Eats, we, we got to talk here. We, we, we need to have a one-on-one. -on -one. We need to have a, you know, a chat session, whatever we need to do. We need to figure this out because we should not, as drivers, be going through this on a, I don't want to say consistent basis, but it keeps on happening. Take the feature away from the customer. I understand why you put it in a place because you want to have customers reward drivers for, you know, their good, but it's hurting a lot of us by having that feature and ha giving the power to the customer of taking away tips. And to me, it just needs, to, it needs to go away. It needs to be non-existent and not put a band-aid over it. <sighs> just frustrating and only thing else I can say is if this feature didn't exist and this does exist on other platforms that are out there it's just not uber eats if companies took away this feature we wouldn't be having this conversation here today and I think that's kind of the more upsetting thing so Uber Eats, take, take it away. <laughs> Remove it, take away the power from the customer because it really is hurting us drivers in the long run and it just freaking stinks. <laughs> and guys, I know I rambled on, um, but I'm gonna end on that note. So let me know, you know, have you been tip baited? What do you think about tip baiting? Does this feature need to go away? I'm just curious on what you guys think. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here and listening to me. And guys, if you are driving, please stay safe and healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.